All right, so I'm going to share a tool that I think is very helpful when you're looking at vertical alignment, and this tool is Google Earth. And we'll see how we can use Google Earth to give us a very quickly give us a profile view of the roadway. So looking at the vertical alignment, looking at the elevations of the roadway. And this can be helpful for looking at it, the vertical alignment of an existing roadway if you're trying to recreate and understand what vertical curves are present, what the tangents are, what the slopes are. Google Earth is helpful for this, as well as for a new roadway. So if you're looking to construct a new roadway, design a new roadway, you can use this tool as well to look at the existing terrain for your new location. So we'll look at both of those options. And the way we're gonna do this is by creating a path in Google Earth. So we're gonna to go to add path, and all we're gonna do is trace along the roadway. We can name it, so I may name this one I-40. We're gonna draw this alignment along a section of Interstate 40. And I'm just gonna trace along. I'm just gonna do one side of the roadway. So I'm gonna do the, in this case, the eastbound direction of I-40. So I'm just gonna move along. We don't have to do a tremendous segment. Just, we just wanna get an idea of how this tool works. So if you have a lot of changes in vertical alignment, it may be helpful to be more precise by having more points uh, for this exercise doing fewer points is probably okay. The, the roadway segments in between our points are staying on the roadway, so we're probably not creating many errors uh, by having these kind of longer distances. But I'll go ahead and stop here. So all we have to do at this point, we can change the style, the color, some other adjustments can be made here. I'm just gonna click okay. It's gonna create our path over here under the places menu. And at this point, all we have to do is right click and we're gonna see some options come up and you can go in and add some more things to this. But what we wanna do is just see the elevation profile. And it's gonna do a little bit of smoothing as we saw there. And at this point, we can see the vertical alignment of this section of the roadway that we created. It does have some summary information for us. So up here at the top of this menu bar, we can see the Distance is 2.25 miles, it has the total elevation gain and loss along the route, has the maximum slopes, and then the average slopes. But what we can see as we move along our alignment, it's also gonna trace along on the roadway, so we can see both the point where we are on the vertical profile and the point on the roadway. So for instance, at this exact point, we have an elevation of 372 feet. We are looking down at the bottom of that line, we can see the number 2,290 feet. So that's telling us we're 2,290 feet from the beginning of the path that we created. And the slope at this point is 3.2%. So looking a, a little more broadly along this alignment, we can see we have a grade here that's somewhere in the order of between three and 4%. We've also got a crest vertical curve here that's near the interchange. So we'd wanna account for this in our design. We've got a, another grade that's a little bit flatter than the first one, somewhere on the order of between two and 3%, depending on where you're located. A sag curve and then another slope. We also see we've got some anomalies in this profile, looking at these elevation points, and likely those three points that really dip down are natural water features. So it could be streams or creeks or rivers. And what Google Earth is trying to do is track along the natural paths of the earth. And so it is sticking with those waterways that go underneath the road through a culvert or under a bridge. And so we need to account for that when we're doing our design and make sure that we don't make the mistake of kind of having the road follow those elevation points. So looking at this first one, for example, we see that it drops down to 330 feet, whereas just before those point, that point is 341 feet, and just after it's 339 feet. So we'd want to take those out. And those anomalies are what causes those large maximum slopes that are reported at the top of this graph. So when we're actually using this for 
an evaluation of this vertical alignment, we'd want to make sure that we don't carry that, that error forward. So this is looking at an existing road. It looks pretty reasonable to me. Um, you know, we see the, the tangents, the straight sections. We see the vertical curves that are present. And another tool that I mentioned, another way we could use this is by creating a, a new road. So if we wanted to look at some existing terrain, and we'll say, let's create a, a road connecting you know, this point, move this out of the way. We'll rename this as well, we'll call this new road. So if we wanted to connect that point, maybe just have a straight road that connects to that line. Click OK, it'll create that new path. We want to see that one instead of the one we were currently looking at. So we're going to right click on new road and we want to show the elevation profile. And so this is going to give us an idea of the existing terrain. So it's not quite as smooth uh, because it's not an engineered surface. This is just natural land that are connecting these two points. So if we wanted to design our roadway, we probably will have some type of vertical curve around this point. Uh, we probably would smooth out the natural features here and just have a, a smooth grade here. There may be another vertical curve towards the end of this project as well, connecting it with that other road. So we can use this information, this tool provided by Google Earth to look at the vertical alignment. I think it's a great tool to be able to quickly look at the vertical alignment. Google Earth is great and set up very visually for the horizontal alignment because we're looking down, we're looking at a plan view of the roadway and using this information can give you a, a better sense of what the vertical features are uh, in a given area, on an existing road, potentially in a location where you want to build a new road and in a quick manner give you that ability. Now ultimately if you're actually designing the road you're probably going to use a more sophisticated and precise engineering software but again, Google Earth is a great tool to give you a, a quick estimation of what it may be before you move on to some of these more advanced tools.